Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Daltonity. I'm Dalton and today I have another great Christmas tutorial for you guys. Today we will be showing you how to make your very own homemade hot chocolate. This stuff is way better than your powdered Swissness, I promise you. Today I will be showing you two different recipes. Let's start with what I'm assuming everyone's favorite will be and that is the crock pot hot chocolate. The ingredients you will need for your crock pot hot chocolate is one 10 ounce bag of chocolate chips. You can use any sort of chocolate chips you like. I will be using dark chocolate, but if you like yours more sweet, you can use regular chocolate chips or semi-sweet chocolate chips as well. You also need one cup sweetened condensed milk, one cup heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon vanilla, and six cups of 2% milk. Yes, that is a lot of milk. Now get out your huge old crock pot and jump in your chocolate chips, condensed milk, whipping cream, vanilla, and all six cups of your milk. All you have to do now is mix all those together and then put the lid on, set it to low, and let it sit for about an hour to an hour and a half, checking every 10 minutes or so to make sure it is all getting combined thoroughly. The first few times you check it, it's gonna look like nothing is happening. Then you're gonna go back and it looks like there's a bunch of chocolate specks all in the milk and then over time as you stir it, it will eventually all combine. And then you can put it in a glass and drink it. It is super delicious. This is a really great hot chocolate recipe if you're wanting to serve a lot of people. It's also good because you can just throw it in the crock pot and then leave it in there heated for as long as you need it. You can make it on Christmas Eve, share it with your family. I know this one's super easy and I like it. It does taste good. However, this next recipe is my own personal favorite. Like I said, this next recipe is a bit thicker and richer. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, but if you're like me and a professional in the sweets world, you will have no problem and you will absolutely love this hot chocolate. We will be making this next recipe on the stove. You will be needing three tablespoons cocoa powder, three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one cup sweetened condensed milk, one cup 2% milk, and one half cup of heavy whipping cream. To start, you wanna put your heavy whipping cream and 2% milk into a medium sized saucepan and heat them up. You do not want it to boil, you just want it to be really hot. Then go ahead and mix in your cocoa powder, sugar, and vanilla. Mix this until it is thoroughly combined. Then all you have to do is pour in your sweetened condensed milk and mix that in as well. When you are done, you are left with a super thick and delicious hot chocolate that I absolutely love. Go ahead and pour yourself a big old mug full of hot chocolate. And you know, what would hot chocolate be without some whipped cream to go on top? So as an added little bonus, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make your very own homemade whipped cream as well. I'll be using my stand mixer because it's a little bit easier on me, but you can use a regular old hand beater as well and it'll work just fine. Now take some of your leftover heavy whipping cream, measure out one cup and pour that into your bowl. Then measure out about three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. Then just beat that together on high for about two minutes or so until it becomes nice and thick and frothy, just like whipped cream because, well, it, it is whipped cream. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you try out one or both of these recipes and you really love it. Um, I know hot chocolate is definitely something I love every winter even though it does not even really get cold here in Texas. Um, it's definitely a favorite of mine. So I hope you try these recipes out. This video is for the 8th day of Daltonity's 12 days of Christmas. If you've not already, go watch our first 7 videos. We teach you how to do all sorts of Christmassy things like make a gingerbread house or your own snow globe or even some fake snow. And stay tuned for the last 4 videos of Daltonity's 12 days of Christmas. We will see you again tomorrow with another great Christmas video, and until then, happy holidays.